This painting, it's relatively uh, the series of work that I do, uh, the white palette. And uh, I usually work in a variety of different work at the same time. And then uh, this painting was pretty much this really uh, place I've been reflecting collectively how many blessings were sent my way. And so in this particular work, you know, I arrived to this place to be able to really anchor myself and then to be able to bring variety of different elements in this work. So this is an oil mixed media on panel, which I really love to work on. And then, uh, <clears throat> so this painting was pretty much started with collectively like to sort it out, to divide um, where is the blessing, uh, where is the curse, where is the memory of things that I needed to remember and then to bring them visually because usually when I paint, most of my work come from an experience, a spiritual experience, an emotional experience. And then I arrive to the work, to the images, where the images comes pretty much when I'm making the work. So to create this composition, I had it to kind of collectively find where I wanted to, how I wanted to talk about this work. So if you look at this character, it's pretty much totally stiff and grounded inside of the body, where all of the fold of the body is pretty much open. You know, you can see its hands are very straight and it's just a, a very elegant and then it's looking up collectively how all of these things are starting to be very meaningful. So then I start working on the composition of the color and then the roses came through. It's interesting because the roses element have an, uh, an interesting appeal to me. Uh, we find them pretty much in a funeral room, we find it in a wedding, so it's a very interesting object, you know. Uh, you have the stem, which is very delicate, if you don't grab it the right way you can hurt yourself, but there is the gift of it, the variety of color, the delicatess of that. And then you go inside of the character, you know, the, 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 this fire inside where you can just freeze that moment, be totally grounded inside of the self and then just look up, start counting all this variety of different blessings, you know. So in this painting, the largeness of all of this gift for me had come from this vastness of the world. Anything is like blue space, all the places that I've been, so that's where you can see uh, the, the feet are blue. So there is a large gift in my life. How can I take that and then have a conversation with just something very minute, but it is, uh, you know, uh, a reference point. And so all of these things start coming together in a very interesting, because, uh, you know, the memory of majority of these things occupies such a big space in our head. So the, that was very important to keep it there. And then the way then it's looking up and then, it's totally freezing in this moment, which is like, you see this gray element, which is pretty much about uh, the, the change of the, the season, the weather, the situation, then you add it to it. And that's how, you know, the works are coming together in a very interesting way. It's very strong light at the same time. And so how can I emphasize pretty much those spaces, you know? so. If you look at this, uh, you know, this white little star or a circle, these are like a form of uh, growth of, of emotion. Sometimes you find them in my work, they black, sometimes they pink. There is a vulnerability, there is a closure, uh, there is a way how I express that. So this, this route circle start coming through. And then these lines are pretty much how our nervous system gets like, that's where I turn on the painting, you know, our nervous system. This is what start really making the work breed, you know. And so then you got to find a dialogue visually how to make it work 
inside of this space. So when you arrive to these visual images now, you can have uh, the dialogue. Then this really reflect what I'm trying to convey. You know, uh, can I add more to it? But I wanted to keep it more open and then less uh, detail oriented. So then the, the, the subject matter, it's the main focus of the piece. So I was uh, very pleased about this painting. And then this painting left my studio. This is the first time this painting is hang on a wall uh, past my studio. No one ever seen this work before. So it was done probably about a month and a half ago. And then uh, I'm very, I cannot be more pleased to have these things part of this collection. So I'm very pleased about it. Thanks for the donor and then uh, all of those who had put uh, this effort together. That means a lot to me. So. so this can be me. This can be another person. There is no male or female element of it. It's the spirit of that essentiality. You know, this happened to a human like me. And then how can I put that there without having any bias kind of uh, influence? So then the character becomes uh, familiar, but not familiar at the same time. Oh, it's a man, it's a woman. No, we're talking about this, this, uh, this essentiality of, of a spirit, uh, someone who have a heart, who have a body, who have a, all those elements that me and you have. This character, that's what I like about working because I never know which one I'm going to encounter. Uh, because these are not, a, they're not in my head. They, they in my, when I'm making them, the character appear. Oh, okay. And then the uniform appear. Oh, okay. And then I just realize I never see this character before. So for me, uh, that's a successful day to encounter an image I never see before. And it's been like that for over 30 years for me to encounter things that I never see yesterday. If I go back trying to remake this character, it will never be the same. And that excites me to go back because I have a, a very strong feeling there is so much or so many of them that I would like to meet. And that creates some uh, surprise, there's a mysticism to it. You don't know what's going to come. Some of them you really like, some of them it's like, oh, we got to change them, and so on and so forth. That's, uh, that's the part about making the work will really interest me. So uh, for me, it all started with something, um, it's, it's, uh, it's not obvious. And then I have a little window and then I go from there, from the work. Then I don't look back. And that's what I like about it. You know, there is a huge amount of things in my reality, uh, they're not obvious. So how can I crack that and to create something now, it's tangible. You know, if I can arrive to that, uh, that's really challenging me to know, you know, this space or this moment here, there is other things, even if I don't see them physically, but I have to keep this inside. There is a belief of that. And that for me, that's one of the biggest wealth of creativity. I never uh, have enough of it, you know? So it's been like that. Well, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah.